I am excited to share with you the new ministry that's here in the New Vision Depot located in Beaver, West Virginia, right outside of Beckley in the Southern District. This is our new Disaster Response Center, and I happen to have with us our new co-directors of the Disaster Response Center, as well as the Disaster Response Team for the West Virginia Conference. On my left is the disaster, and on my right is the response. And Dan and Sue Lowther will be moving to Wyoming County after uh, the bishop reads the appointments on Sunday, and a part of their appointment will include Dan as the Director of Field Services and Sue as the Director of Administrative Services for the New Vision Depot. Okay. And I'd like to start with a question. What was the dream that uh, motivated you to uh, seek a depot like this? Well, the dream began many years ago uh, when Sue and I first became the Disaster Response Coordinators for the conference. Uh, Bill Wilson shared with us the, a dream to have a, a hub of Mission Central, the uh, missional outreach in Mechanicsburg, PA for uh, UMCOR, but have a hub for it here in West Virginia. Uh, eight years later, uh, this building you know, came to be and, and we were able to, to move in, bring all of our supplies in one place as opposed to four separate places. and. Uh, begin to see a, a greater vision for even uh, what we thought to begin with. Oh, thank you. How did the reality of this New Vision Depot present itself? Well, uh, by our connections with uh, the West Virginia BOAD and working together as volunteer organizations active in disaster, uh, we come to, in contact with Mark Wilson, who is the Raleigh County 911 Center uh, Deputy Director, and we um, got to know him and they were telling us uh, about what they inherited and what we were looking for as a, a warehouse and they were uh, very gracious to show us the buildings on this complex and uh, got to choose which building we wanted as our warehouse and so that's kind of how the warehouse come to be and uh, we were very thankful with the connection. Oh, wonderful. What is, what is the uh, immediate intended use for the depot? Well, the vision right now, again, it, as I said earlier, to be a, a warehouse for our supplies and bring all, uh, not only our supplies, but get our equipment together uh, in one spot. Uh, we'll have office space here, uh, restrooms, a, a place for work teams to stay, showers, and, you know, a complete package here to, to be able to help the disaster response begin to operate out of one facility. Mm -hmm. What are some of the long-term uh, views of this depot? Well, the long-term is uh, being able to do ministry in all the, the communities that are affected by the disasters and um, having the supplies to be able to do that in one place uh, makes it a lot easier. And uh, we um, hope to have a continuous flow of volunteers and work teams uh, that we will work through this uh, with the New Vision Depot that where um, we can meet the more needs of the people, uh, but we need volunteers um, all the time. Okay. How can the district, how can the conference, districts, churches, and, and individuals help support this ministry? Start with prayer. Uh, we, we need a lot of prayer for, again, a new vision. Uh, we're breaking new ground that not only the disaster response is not entered into, but the conference has it. Uh, so we need all the prayer we can get. We, churches can help by donating the, you know, flood buckets, health kits, uh, different supplies to, to help with the, the, the stockpile. And uh, by bringing in work teams, uh, youth groups, different ones to go through those supplies to see that they are at the ready and prepared when we need them. And funds, uh, we do need funds. We, we are paying rent on the building. Um, Plus, you know, our salary will be a part of this now, too, and uh, funding will, will help greatly. Okay, thank you. I hope you're as excited as I am about the possibilities that are here at the New Vision Depot to responding to human need, whether it's caused by a natural disaster or uh, other human circumstances that put people and communities at risk 
in a, a distinct disadvantage and create enormous hardship in their life. I invite you to pray, to volunteer, and to contribute to make this new Vision Depot a center not only for aid, but a center for sharing Christ's mercy uh, with others. Amen. Amen. Everything comes alive.